absolutely. Just about ready to go. Today's starting pitcher, number 59. He really needs to be able to throw all three of his pitches for strikes in this one. Otherwise, these hitters are going to start sitting on pitches. You know, you've got to try to get the swing and miss with the curveball, and you've got to move your pitches around. Don't get too comfortable on one side of the plate unless they're showing that they just can't hit that spot. Ready to go. To the batter now, Mark Payton. The next offering misses. Two and one. And here it comes. And now two and two. And the righty deals. Got him swinging. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table, and you can't make contact. Next offering misses, and that's ball two. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. The 2 2. Bows it back with two strikes. One down, base is empty. Swing and a ball popped up. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Time to check out the lineup for the White Sox. Singy, we're looking at a really young lineup here, so not much experience, but it also means they're going to bring a lot of energy to the table most days. Well, we're in a golden age of young players. I mean, these players, they're getting up to the majors. They're dominating from a young age bringing home plenty of hardware early in their careers. I mean, before they even get to free agency. So, you know, when you consider all of that, I love seeing the kind of energy that a team... Swing and a miss struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. End of a half inning of play. And now the Angels will get their first opportunity in this one. No score. Welcome back. And on the hill in this one, Jonathan Cannon. What's the word on him? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Bottom of the first. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. Hit weakly on the ground. Throw off line, he's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. Here's Aaron Hicks. The 1-1 one -one is cut on and missed at a pitch upstairs. Nobody out, runner at first. And it's even up. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. Swing and a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. And now batting Mike Trout. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball. 
No Two outs, three. runners at first and second. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Kicks and deals. Swing and a bouncer. Sends it over to Sheets. Out on a bang-bang play. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the I opponent and too. sometimes in front of the opponent, and you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. One down, runners at second and third. And there's ball four. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Brandon Drury to the plate. On the ground to third, diving, and he can't make the play. One runs in, a second scores as well. It's 2-0 to third, not in time. And it's runners at the corners with one gone. Mickey Moniak, the next to hit for the Angels. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. and It's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Now batting A. Ray Adrianza. Two outs. That no, just misses. Down. Three balls and a strike. There's a strike. 3-2, three, two, two out, run on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Good job at damage control right there. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We go on to inning number two. Angels two, and the White Sox nothing. Back here at the ballpark, new we inning getting started. Now here's the cleanup hitter for the White Sox, Gavin Sheets. The 1-1. And that one fouled off. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And the pitch. Now a screamer into the outfield. And a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. He was all over that, that one. Hit. That pretty much split the zone the down the middle, and yeah. those are the ones where you got to make go. them pay. And now Tim Elko. Ball. Next pitch misses, and it's two and one. At the belt and fires. Good eye right there. James Kingsley working the plate. Kingsley's pretty well respected around the league. Yeah, when you talk to players, I think consistently he is one of the guys you hear compliments about. Players appreciate the job he does back there. Yeah, and that's kind of all you can ask for, really, just a fair chance to go out and have success. And a pitch. And he walked oh. him. Not the start to this inning he was hoping for on the mound. Now he's going to have to really dial it up against the bottom part of this lineup to get out of this jam. And here is Zach Deloach. 
Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Ward makes the play, and that is a big first out. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Two on, one out, and next to hit for the Sox, Chucky Robinson. Good eye right there. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. <laughs> Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Kelly left that change up up. Got away with one there, and he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. Right hander kicks deals. Ripped down the line, base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He'll score, and it's a one-run game. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Gets the call. That is strike two. pitch and a foul ball he stays alive but I think ultimately you want to tie him up get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield on the ground could be two Adrianza there's one got him the double play cuts down the potential tying run so one run in the inning on this base hit and this is now a 2-1 ball game. You're watching. And welcome back. Bottom of the second. Matt Thice comes up to hit here. Up the middle. Oh, look at the stop. The throw. Got him. Great play to keep the leadoff man off base. Number nine. The next to hit for the Angels. Next pitch is outside. Way out front for strike two. Next pitch off the play. Three and two now. Good plate That's appearance there. Able to take the walk. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. Now it's Anthony Rendon. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. Lead runner around second. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. It's Aaron Hicks now. Next offering misses down and away. Runners are at the corners. One away. And now it's even up. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strikeout. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can, and let the result be whatever it's going to be. 3-2 now. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. He goes down looking. Well, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position and two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. 
on the ground. Oh, and it hits the base, and it stays fair. Runner from third comes across. It's 3-1. Trout into second, and he's got a double. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. A run on two hits, and they leave one. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Angels three, and the White Sox one. Top half of the third inning. Here's the second baseman, Danny Mendick. Check swing. He held up. And a count two and one. And the right hander deals. That one close, ruled a ball. And the count is three and one. Righty delivers. That's in there. And it's three and two. Helpful. Popped up. Picks on the run towards the line. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there's one away. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrating with himself until his next at bat. 1-1 one, one now. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. One and two now. That one missed. It's a good take. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Swings through it for the K. Some high cheese for strike three. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high 90s, you'll get away with some of those more margin for error. You know, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport, and I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. Gosh, Boog, I think he's trying to deke the pitcher. There's no way he's thinking he can hit that pitch. Next one just misses, and that's ball three. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. battle here about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat goes down swinging for the strikeout couldn't catch up to the heater nothing across here this half we head down to the home half of inning number three it's the Angels three and the White Sox one Welcome back as we go to the last of the third. Now here is Taylor Ward. Kicks and fires. And that's ball four. 
Boom. Do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. The pitch. Here goes the runner. Swing and a miss. Throw. Save. That kind of a lean arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal a base. But right here, they successfully moved that runner up to scoring position. Good job. Here comes a pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And a pitch. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. It falls in, and that's a base hit. Ward around third. Throw is offline, and he scores. And they're up by three. Next is the designated hitter, Mickey Moniak. His first at bat was a strikeout. Next pitch is outside. That's down and in. Action in the pen down there. Tanner Banks getting loose out there. Rudder at first with no outs here. And ball four to a board. He just hasn't had great command of his pitches in this one. Definitely more walks than you'd like to see. A. Ray Adrianza, the next to hit for the Angels. Struck out swinging his first time. Misses inside, and the count is even two and two. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. That one to first, and that's a fair ball. Drury coming home. He'll score easily. It's five one. Picks himself up at RBI. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. Tanner Banks will take over here. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Runners on the corners, no outs. That's outside. All three. And that'll load the bases. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. And here is number nine. The walk and a run scored his first time. And a one-two. And that one is inside. The opportunity for a huge inning exists right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. But as a hitter, can't be over anxious. That pitcher's up against the wall. Make him come to you. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. They need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through. In the air, left field, down the line. Squeezes it. Runner tagging from third. And now the runner will score from third on the wild throw. Well, right there, he's definitely looking for more than just a sack fly with the bases loaded and nobody out, but you'll take it. Now it's up to the guys coming up behind him to pick up the rest of those runners on base. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. He's there. He's got it. And there are two outs. So first and second with two outs. Aaron Hicks at the plate. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. That misses. And now three and one. Mike Trout up next for the Angels.
The 3 1. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Adrianza, the lead runner at second. Dice at first, two out of the inning. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And now the lefty. Base hit, Adrianza around third. Now a long throw home, but it's offline. And it's now a six run lead. Well done, drives in the run. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did and he did it perfectly. Throw pulls him off the bag at first. Everybody's safe, bases loaded. And next for L.A., Taylor Ward. Pitch misses. It's two and two. Bases loaded. Two down. Next pitch is outside. And here it comes. Good job to fight that one off. In the air, left field, Deloach settles under it, makes the grab, and that's the inning. So they do get four runs across, but they end up leaving the bases loaded. Three innings complete. It's the Angels seven and the White Sox one. Back here at the ballpark, now at the plate, Zach Remillard. Zach Remillard. Kicks and deals. That catches the corner. Bullpen activity starting up now. Jose Cisnero, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. And he deals. Liner snagged at first. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. The pitch. They say it went. One ball, two strikes. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And there's two down. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Next offering upstairs. I can't play around with him here. It's a six run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters even if you give up a solo shot. In the air, left side. Brings it in for the third out. One, two, three, go the White Sox. They're down seven to one. And welcome back. And here's the first baseman, Brandon Drury. The first baseman, Brandon. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. Here's a 1-2. Into center. And puts the squeeze on that. One down. The bat. The designated hitter. Mickey Moniak. The next to hit for the Angels. Next offering is fouled back. A 
That's Next the one misses. Now two and two. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Whips it to first on the oh. run. Already two gone here in the home four. Now back, second baseman, A-Ray Adrianza. And now, A-Ray Adrianza. The 1-1. One, one. Swings through that one. A 1-2 one, count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. Popped up. Mendick has a beat on it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Offense held a check there. We played four. Now on the bump, Jose Cisnero. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. That's inside. Inside, ball two. On the ground, right side, and foul ball. Two, two. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. And the righty deals. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Left hand batter waits. Got it by him for the K. And now the catcher now comes up to him. Chucky Robinson. Chucky. Singled and Robinson. drove in a run his first time through. And a big swing and a miss. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. And a one-two. And that's downstairs and outside. Righty to the plate. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Trout right there to make the grab. And there are two down. Now Next to hit, Lennon Sosa. He hit into a double play his first time up. The pitch. In the air to left center. Ward drifts towards it. Makes the catch in and over. Bottom of the inning. Here's the and Angels catcher, Matt Dice. New pitcher for the White Sox, Chad. Cool. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Sheets steps on the bag, and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. So digging in, number nine. But why to kick the pitch? Fouls one off, two and two. And the pitch. Foul off the plate, they'll do it again. Wind in the pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Good eye in that spot. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Foul ball and it remains a full count. 
Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Started after it. Appeal to first. No swing. That's ball four. He walked him. They just keep handing out gifts, boo. Or are we supposed to bring something? Singy, I think just our presence is the present. The 1-1. One -one. Just oh, off out. the outside edge. And there's a ball. Outside. Out towards right center field. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Throw cut off to second. Not in time. He's got a double. Anytime you can drive a ball into the gap the other way, it feels so good. And that's when you know you're right where you need to be at the plate. And it's even ground ball up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on. He decides to eat it and a run is in to score. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Sends it over to Sheets. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game, looking at the pitching matchup, where you expected offense to score and not as lops. Now, this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. And off the base of the wall. The run comes in from second, and they now lead by nine. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. On the mound now, Joe Barlow. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Right-handed reliever. Got him looking. That's the third out. Three runs on three hits. No errors and a runner left. We're through five. It's the Angels 10 and the White Sox 1. Welcome back. Leading off, Leading off Danny Mendick. The second baseman. Danny. Well, every pitcher wants a run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Sneaks through, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. Mark Payton digs in now. You know, these White Sox need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. At the belt and fires. Pitch misses. Two, ball, two balls, two, two strikes. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have guys in scoring position because they put themselves there. Mendick on at first. Nobody out. The next offering misses, and the count is filled up. Three, two. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. That's back there. And out of here. So he leaves the yard to left, and they're chipping away. It's 10-3. He kept swinging, and it paid off. 
Well, that was a battle, Boog, and he just kept taking his cuts. Finally squared one up. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. So up next, number 22. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. He's going to really have to bear down. And a pitch. Swings and misses. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And up next for Chicago, Zach Remillard. Remillard. And a pitch. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. The pitch. That one misses. The count now two and two. Still only one out here in the inning. Two now. And that one missing low. And there's ball four. Pretty good spot on the outside, but just couldn't quite clip the zone. That's a stone cold take. The first baseman. Here's the cleanup Gavin. hitter for the Sox, Gavin Sheets. Right-hander kicks deals, and that one wrapped foul. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Man at first, so now it's the White Sox DH, Tim Elko. Out towards left center. Nice grab on the run. And that is the third out of the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. And it is now 10-3. Back after. Well, we go bottom and six. Stepping in, Mickey Moniak. The designated hitter, Mickey Moniak. And that one is in for a strike. Activity in the bullpen. Dominic Leone up and throwing. Righty delivers. This to third. Fair ball. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. No, Checks over to first. Back safely. Moniak gets his lead at first with nobody out. At the play, A. Ray Adrianza. Check swing. No appeal. And it's two and one. Late that time, and it's strike two. Two, two strikes. Grounded to third, could be two. Over to Mendick ah. for one. How about that double play? I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5 now 4 that. 3 double get play get turned. I mean, yeah. just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the catcher, Matt Theis. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Yeah. 
Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. Robinson makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the The left fielder, number 31, Zach. Top of the seventh. Now, Zach Deloach. Adam Calera gets the ball now. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. And another ball. Activity in the bullpen for the Angels. A right-hander appears to be getting loose. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Chucky Robinson steps to the plate for the White Sox. Robinson. The one-two. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's one away. Man at first, Lennon Sosa steps to the plate for the White Sox. The one-one. Got the back going too soon at strike two. That was the pitch to hit. Four-seam fastball instead of that sinker ball that makes you hit it on the ground. He missed a good one. And now the count is even. Back to the mound. To second for one. And it's a double play to end the inning. This one pretty well decided at this point. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Angels 10 and the White Sox 3. Bottom of the seventh, and now number nine. The pitch. Swings and misses, struck him out. Oh, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. The and perfect. halfway the to the plate, you know you've committed, Anthony. and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Pitch misses oh, outside. And a count two and one. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. But you want. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. It might be time to choke up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. That one ripped. Makes the grab for the second out. From up here, it looked like that liner might be splitting like the gap in right player. center. That's one of those Adam balls you just have to live with as a hitter. Now here's Aaron Hicks. Two outs. That one off the mark, and that's ball three. Mike Trout in the on-deck circle. And the right-handers 3-1. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Here's Trout. The 2-1. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And it's out of here. That'll fire up the dugout, and they add on. It's 12-3.
versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter, getting the top hand working. Powers that fast. Fastball out of here. White Sox going with a new arm. Dominic Leone. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. The one, two. And that one a little bit high. Hard hit, right side. On to first, inning over. Two run shot for the Angels this inning. We look ahead to inning number eight. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. We're at the top of the eight. Now it's the second baseman, Danny Mendez. Danny Mendez. Got him. And there's one down. Back to the top of the lineup. And now it's going to be Mark Payton. He's already homered here in this one. The 1-1. One -one. And that one fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Lays out. He's got it. Gathers and throws. It's there, and that's a great play. Nice diving stop right there. Gets the out. Great reactions. Excellent job of finishing the play with a nice, easy throw. Two outs. Space is empty. Next to hit, number 22. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a ball evens the count. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Nothing doing for the White Sox. They're down a bunch. It's 12-3. On to the bottom of the eighth. And now the first baseman, Brandon Drury. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. Next offering is downstairs. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Rip to short. Not in time. He's safe. Tough play on a nice now backhand that, stop. That, that had to be perfect hitter. with the exchange and throw to get the out. But it looked like he had to dig in there a little deeper, like he was trying to get a split finger grip or something. Close play, but that little extra time on the transfer made all the difference. Digging in, Mickey Moniak. Drury aboard here at first with nobody out. Ground ball to the right side, and it goes just foul. The 2-2. Two -two. And now it's filled up. On the ground, two ball. 
The throw to second, and that's two. Pretty lengthy at bat right there, and usually the hitter wins that battle after seeing so many pitches, but instead, the exact opposite, or maybe even worse than that, grounds into a double play. Tough at bat to swallow. And it is two and one. And that's in for a strike. Now just to cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. On the ground to first. He takes it himself to the bag and that'll do it. One hit in the inning but nothing more than that. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Angels 12 and the White Sox 3. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the shortstop at the play. Zach Remillard. Remillard. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Next pitch, not close, up high. Swing and a miss struck him out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Gavin Sheets, the next to hit. Here's a 1 1. And that's down it away. Kicks and deals. There's a strike. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If he can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult okay. to hit. Just off the outside part of the plate. Three. And down on strikes he goes. That's the second out. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, I'm not sure if he expected to get nine outs in this one, but he had the gas in the tank to get it done. Kind of a throwback save for this guy today, but helps the team get the win as you can see they're pretty happy about it and they're celebrating his performance in this one and your final 12 to 3 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB the show I'm John Chambi saying so long time of the ball game, three hours and 55 minutes thank you for joining us here this afternoon and we remind you to please drive home safely